Hey, what's going on? It's V from V Love and Tarot. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's pick a card reading is who you truly are. Who are you to the core? And regarding your spirituality, who are you? So sending you love and light, prosperity, good vibes, and may you find the answers you're looking for in today's reading. So we have quite some awesome props here. Number one, you have the peace sign for pal one <clears throat> pal number two you have this clear little stone here it's like a stone you put in a fish tank and pal number three you have this cool stone here red and silver which one do you feel most drawn to for your messages if you're new please subscribe if not thank you for returning also don't forget to check out my playlist i have many pick a cards in there and I do personal readings. Thank you so much for being here. One, two, three. Pick your timestamps below. And let me know that you stopped by. Let me know which um, timestamp you chose. Alright, let's get into your reading. I'm so excited. Let's figure out the juicy scoop on who you are. Number one, you're first. <clears throat> Alright, pound number one. Hello, hello. So you chose the peace sign. What's going on, friends? Hello. Let's figure out who you are to the core. And even when we, we're talking about spirituality. Okay, friends, so let's dive into this. Thank you so much. Pawn number one, who you truly are. Pawn number one, please help me connect to those who are watching Pawn number one's message. <sighs> Thank you so much for being here. Who are you truly? Pawn number one, who are you truly? Pawn number one. Who are you truly? You have the hanged man here. Who are you truly? Hanged man energy. Let me clarify this hangman energy. Who are you truly, Pamela? Who are The fool? Who are you truly? Pound number one. The Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Pound number one, who are you truly? The Six of Pentacles. Alright, friends. Let me uh, marinate a little bit. Let me figure out what's going on here. Alright friends, so thank you for your patience by the way. Peace, peace out. That's interesting because you got the peace sign and you have the hanged man. So you are calm, cool, collected, chilled out, down to earth, laid back kind of person. Nothing really bothers you too much. <clears throat> You're a girl with the flow energy. You like things to be very slow paced. You don't like to rush too fast even though you do have the knight of swords but we'll get to that. You think you like things to be even keeled, just calm, cool, just relaxed, no drama. Um, I think that you function in a peaceful environment. Like you feel like you're connected when you are in, whether you are around a lot of grassy areas here, um, connected more to nature, connected more to animals. We have the stork, two horses. Um, <clears throat> I think you also find comfort in your own mind. Knight of Swords, the Hanged Man, I'm getting Hermit's energy. You find comfort in your own space, your own mind, your own head. Same thing. <laughs> you don't mind too much if you have a, a, a large friendship circle. You don't mind if you are around a lot of uh, people or in big group settings or, you know, what, what's it called? Um... Your, your your friendship circle is very minimal. That's what I feel like. It's a small, select few of friends that you feel really close with. And you're okay with that. You, you know, in fact, I feel like you would be okay not having any friends at all. That's how um, just laid back you are. 
<clears throat> you can have fun all by yourself. That didn't sound right. You know what I'm saying? Um, Six of Pentacles here. So I, I also I feel like you are the type of person who would give all, give your clothes off your back if it meant helping another. If it meant you know com you know comforting someone, making them feel welcomed. If it made them feel um, <clears throat> you know included. And yeah, Six of Pentacles. Like you you helping others, them helping you. You can be very sociable. It's not that you're antisocial, it's that you do prefer quiet. The fool here, so you are not afraid to do your own thing. You're not afraid of tooting your own horn, you know, working at your own pace, doing your own, like, leading your own path. But you do, you like, you, like I said, you're not antisocial. You just prefer to be your own, in your own light, in your own space, your own mind. And you're looking backwards because you do care about others. Like I said, you're very, look, caring, Six of Pentacles. But you do find just solace just being alone. Because maybe it could be, number one, you're an empath and you, you are very sensitive to other energies. Or it can just be that you, you don't, you're you not down for the drama. Maybe you, it's hard for you to find friends who are not so dramatic, chaotic. Um, the Knight of Swords tells me that you like stimulating conversations. Um... You may like to travel, you may like to sightsee, you may like to venture out, do fun things, just like the fool. Dinosaurs also tells me that when you feel passionate enough, when you feel like you have an idea, you go all in it. You go for it, you go for it, you take that idea and you turn it into something beautiful. That's where the Nine of Swords is coming. But you're very hesitant as well. You look at things closely before you proceed forward. The Knight of Swords is like, yeah, come on, let's go, let's get, let's get him hasty, hasty, take, you know, taking action, let's go. But in this instance, you're very calculating. You're like, wait, we're gonna go, but let's, you know, pace ourselves. Let's take, let's take a little step here and there. Let's calculate the situation. Let's, uh, um, assess the situation. Let's be very strategic. You know, we only got. It's like kind of like we only got one sh one shot. We can't miss our chance to go to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. <laughs> I don't mean to go there, but I think that's how you are. It's like you, you're just very, you're very logical, my friend. All right. Yeah, always in the mindset. And then you have the swords and the six of pentacles. It's like, you see how cool he is? Cool cat. He's like, yep, you need help? All right, I got you. I don't have much, but I got you. There's only, only, um... Uh, acorn or eight seeds I have but I got you <laughs> so this is awesome <clears throat> I'm gonna see what my uh, eye candy says to bring this together this is for sale my Etsy shop if you're interested this comes with a free PDF guide okay pound number one who are you truly pound number one pound number one who are you truly pound number one who are you truly Pound number one, who are you truly? Pound number one. Tell me all about you, pound number one. Emotions. See, you are passionate. You see how he's looking back? He's like, are you okay? I'm going to go forward. Are you going to be okay if I go forward? If I go and venture out a little bit? Are you Are you cool? You got everything you need? You got enough food? You got friends? You, you got gas in your car? Are you cool? So yeah, I do see there's a big heart inside of you as well. I already said it here with the full card. He used to be looking forward, not backwards, but he's worrying about his peeps, making sure his peeps are cool, are okay. You have staycation, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Look, the 12, the, the hangs man, staycation, I'm getting hermit energy as well. You see how he's a loner? This is like that loner energy, hermit, but he still has friends. And he prefers one at a time. So this energy tells me, you know, he, you do like your, your quiet time, you do like your... Um, personal space but you could have fun as well and it could be that you like little quiet staycations with just one person at a time maybe you're a one-on-one -on -one person you know you do better with just you and what you know someone else maybe you don't like to have all types of noise you know you just very like I said very um you know I, I'm getting like reserved hermit cool cat energy though um risks so you look, oh my gosh, you got the fool, you got the fool, and you got the risk taker. So you do have fun. You do have a spontaneous bone in your body. You do. 
You absolutely do. It might take people, you know, some time to see it. They might not see it right off the bat because you're reserved and you hold back until you get to know somebody. And then you have childhood here. You do have a fun, a fun side. The fool, yep, youth. Taking chances, having fun, exploring, just going. You know, that fool is like, yeah, I'm just going to go see where the moment takes me. I'm just going to chill and just go with the flow. And yeah, you, you have a childhood immature side as well. You know, where you can have fun with any, in any situation. Everything is just, uh, you know, fun and no worries and just... The silver lining is in everything. That's your, your mentality. Innocence in everything. All right, so let me uh, pull one more card for you, pile number one. I'm going to use my Lavender Love Dreams for love, but also has general everyday life situations. This also comes with a PDF file guide, and this is for sale in my Etsy shop. So pile number one, tell me more about you. Who are you truly? Tell me more about you, pile number one. Zipper. <clears throat> Con convenience and productivity. So that that basically is saying you, you, oh, boundaries. Okay, boundaries. You zip it up, you zip it down. Boundaries. You know who to tune out, who to tune into. You know who to let go, let go, let in your, your social circle. You know who to let go of. Or, um, what's it called, uh, you know, keep people back, you know, like, no, you're not welcome into my circle, I can't take your energy, love emotions, I'm getting empath energy, I just said it, and it's here. Yep, close up shop, okay, my mouth is closed, I'm, I can't talk right now, I, I need to be in my own head, you know, so you, you know how to set boundaries. You cut people out, not on, you know, in a rude way, in a rude fashion, but you know how to set limits for yourself. Okay, I can't take on too much energy. All right, I need that. That's it. I can't. I, I'm at my, my max when it comes to socialization. Time for me to retreat for another week. You have mirror here, reflection. So I feel like you are very adaptable. So if you are, you know, hanging out with you know high energy people, you can you can roll with it. You can roll with it certainly. If you're around uh, reserved people, introverted people, you can roll with that too. You're very adaptable. Reflection. You're kind of like a chameleon, not in a negative way. This is more like you are, you go with the flow, like I said. You, you, you just you adapt to your surroundings like a mirror. The reflection, you know, oh, it's crazy on this side of the mirror. Okay, I'm going to reflect that. Freaking awesome. All right, so that's what I have for you. Uh, I'm going to pull one life purpose real quick. What is your life purpose, pawn number one? What is your life purpose? Pawn number one. Pawn number one, please help me gather this energy right here. What is your life purpose? Pawn number one. Let's see what fell. Let me just pull this card first. Okay. So your life purpose, you have talked to your angels. Maybe that's why you're so reserved. Maybe you're in your head, but you're talking to your spirit team, to your ancestors, to your higher self, connecting to yourself. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Maybe you do. You feel closely close to your 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 ancestors, your spiritual team, your gods, deities, etc. Protected here. Another night. Get out of town. Get out of town. Another night here. Look at that. Look at that. Protector. You are safe and supported while you change your career. This just tells me that you could be very protective over your energy, protective over your people. Are you are you okay? You okay? I'm going to just go explore on this side of the grass. Are you going to have everything you need while I do so? I'll come back. Just make sure. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go and then I'll be right back for you. So it's like you protect your, your, your people, your family, your own energy. You know how to set boundaries. Just like this uh, zipper. Yeah, you know how to shut it up, shut it down, close it off, open it up. You know how to, um, what's it called, uh, maneuver the energies around you. Uh, um, feel the energies and then, okay, it's getting too overwhelming. Scale back. So that's what I feel. I feel this is who you are. And if it resonates, then freaking awesome. If not, freaking awesome. That means it wasn't your story. 
but I do personal readings and I do have pick cards if you want more. Thank you so much for your time. Sending love and lights. I'm going to ring my bell for you to close this out with beautiful energy. Much love. Okay, pile number two. You chose the cute little clear stone here. Thank you so much for choosing this pile. Let me know that you did so by putting two in the comments. Please do consider uh, subscribing and sitting, sticking around so that I can grab your energy for the next day and the next day and the next day. Or I can skip, you know, I might skip a pile. Maybe one pile will be for you. The next day, it won't be for you. So, But if you stay, stick around and do share your energy in the comments, I can keep you in mind for future readings. So I thank you for being here. Much love to you. Pile number two. So let's figure who you are. Who you are truly, pound number two. To the core, down to your spirit. Or the other way around. <laughs> pound number two, who are you truly? Please help me connect. Thank you. Who is watching? Number two, number two's energy only. Number two, energy only. Thank you. Who are you really? Who are you truly, pound number two? Oh. You have the page of cups. The page of wands. Oh, page, page, page. You got pages here. All right. Who are you truly? Pound number two. Pound number two, who are you truly? You got the king of wands. You got oh, you got a lot of fire here, by the way. Two fire suits. Last one, who are you truly? Five of pentacles. Oh, you got knight of swords, and that came out in pound one. So, I always say if I need to, if you feel inclined to, check out number one. Every time I get repeats, it always tells me, it's like a sign saying, oh, part number two, you might want to check out part, part, part number one or part number one. If you feel like you need to. So I'll see you, my dears. All right, so you got a lot of cool cards here. You got wands here. You have the page. Now, the five of pentacles I don't like, but I will de decipher and figure out what that what that is trying to tell us. And we will see if it's a reversal or not. I think it might be just as is. But it could be a reversal because we are pairing it with positive cards. Court cards, nonetheless. So, pound number two, I feel like you are very passionate, very loving. You have such a young soul about you. you got two pages here, back to back. Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Very young soul, very youthful energy you bring to the table. But I also feel that is just a facade. That No, what I'm saying is... Yeah, you're very youthful and you're just so bubbly and and full of fun, full of life. Very enthusiastic, but people see that that's the first thing people see about you. Oh, you're young, but that's a facade. I mean, that's not a facade, but it's just like that's the surface thing that they see. There's more to you than that. There's more to you than what meets the eye. And I think that who you truly are... Yeah, you're freaking awesome. You're freaking young looking perhaps. Maybe you look very young for your age. But you don't you you're, you're like saying don't yeah, don't make an ass out of yourself or myself. <laughs> don't make an ass out of you or me. Don't assume I'm very young looking. I sound young. I look young, whatever. I might have that young aura, but I'm a bad ass king. I'm a bad ass queen. I'm a bad ass witch. Bad ass bit. You get the drift, right? Rich, but wit, yeah, yeah, all that in a nutshell. You are this, and this uh, King of Wands that's the entrepreneurial energy. And I feel that people might come, might see you as someone who's just very naive or just very sweet and sensitive, and you don't know too much. That's pff, say, yeah, don't make an ass out of you and me. Don't assume just because you're looking at the surfacey level or the, <laughs> the surfacey cover there's behind the, behind the cover there's actual pages and in those pages you will see that i have a lot of wisdom a lot of tips and tricks a lot of things up my sleeve a lot of things that you wouldn't even know about me or you wouldn't even think to know because you are just looking at surface surfacey stuff so look this badass witch badass bitch yeah you you there's more to you than meets the eye and i feel like you are someone very successful Someone very ambitious, very ambitious, and very driven. You go from the page to the king. So you're very driven, you're very passionate. And you go for yours. 
But people don't see that at first glance. Why? Because they are just looking at what they want to see. Or they're not bothering to get to know you deeper. But once you open your mouth, once you show them what you're working with or what show them what you've got or your brain show them your brain they're gonna be like oh okay okay she's not or he's not as um childlike or inexperienced in life as i thought oh and then it kind of makes them feel silly it kind of makes them feel like oh my gosh I, I judged too fast or oh my gosh why did i think that blah 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 fill in the blanks and you this is your your energy five of pentacles your your the drive is pushed being pushed by earthly matters like your drive is being pushed by void by lack you don't want to be in five of pentacles so that makes you go here so it makes you step into that that fire go get them energy that's why you we have this here it's like because of this i am this but I had to be this to become this. <laughs> so it's like you had to be young and stupid to be old and wise. That's what I'm feeling. So who you truly are, you're a badass bitch. That's right. You you freaking you get yours. You 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 know what it's like to be without. Without you know what it's like to have hardships and tr you know uh, obstacles and setbacks, all that stuff. So that's what makes you go here in this energy. Yeah, it's like the only way for you to succeed is to go forward. You're not going to go backwards. You're not going to stay in this youthful, naive, oh, I'm, that's what they think they perceive me to be, right? Okay, I'll just stay here. No, you're like, no, wait. So I feel like you've spent a lot of time justifying yourself or um, proving, yeah, same thing, pr proving yourself, um, even blending in with others just to be able to be understood or just to be able to be heard, seen. You, I think you might have spent a lot of your time not being seen, not being really accepted or taken seriously. You know how like you, we have people who are without, they're lacking, but we choose not, we choose not to see them because we're like, oh my gosh, it's awkward. Someone's you know asking me for money. They're coming up to me with a sign, you know, and then they, we, and then people turn the other way, right? So it's kind of like we're not we're choosing not to see this at surface level. This person, and look, it looks like they're having a hard time, but who are they really to the core? They can be sweet and humble as pie. They could, ha you know, have such a heart, warm heart. They could have been in this energy because they spent their life caring for others or taking care of others or, you know, working like crazy to provide for their family and then things don't work out eventually and you know my, that's what lands in there or maybe that's just how they grew up without a lack and um people judge this person because of the appearance the outer layer the outer exterior and i feel that's what's happening with you people judge you by how you look or by how you come across or um what you wear yeah same thing right or how you speak, if you look young, if you look older. Like, the people just judge you right off the bat. And you're like, stop making an ass out of yourself. You, you, you're looking foolish. You know, get to know me first. Get, ask me questions. You know, have conversations with me. So, um, who are you truly? Absolutely. The page to the king. Absolutely. You do have that young Ennis energy about you as well. Where you're just very sweet and you want to have fun and just enthusiastic about life and about anything you create whatever you put your hands on but don't get it twisted don't make don't, don't get me confused or don't don't underestimate me because this fi this fire will come through and you know i also see i also feel like you have a sensitive side but when you're messed about or messed with sorry when you're messed with that lion comes out that fire that aries leo sagittarius that Go getter that pouncer that lion is ready to pounce. They will attack. They will protect their 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 young. They will protect their elderly. <laughs> they will get. They will protect. You know, I would say you. It will be hard for you to protect yourself because I can. You're like I can take it. I can take it, but don't mess with the family. Don't mess with the best friends. Don't mess with your close counterparts. Your your divine counterparts. Your your coworkers. Don't mess with people who you feel really passionate about. 
don't mess with them because you they don't want to mess with you lion aries leo sagittarius okay <laughs> fire sign um let's figure out what let's see what else what, what else about you pound number two yeah people so ju shouldn't just be so quick to judge right before you point fingers, make sure your fingers are clean. No, but that's what Bob Marley says. But before you make, you know, assumptions, get to know the person. You know, even if they are young, even if they are older, even if they are having financial struggles, that doesn't define who they are. It doesn't define whatever label you want to give them. It doesn't It doesn't. It's like, oh, this person looks like that. Okay, let me look in the dictionary. Okay, then that means that they are beneath or lower than or they are blah, blah 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 or shouldn't take them seriously or I shouldn't be their friend because they might blah 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 they might want to want me for my money you don't know that you don't know if this person wants to be your friend because they want to be your friend they don't know if they need, want to be with you because they they need your money you don't know don't make assumptions so I'm, I'm not saying you I'm saying in general people you know that's probably what you're thinking don't make assumptions you don't know me how do you know that I need your money? What if I just needed an, a, a freaking ear? What if I needed you to, to listen with me? Listen to me. You know? So anyway. What if I needed you to help me promote my business? Maybe that's all I needed. Maybe I needed to do readings for you and I really needed the experience. You know, you don't know the story. So that's probably what you're feeling. Like, I'm tired of people judging me. All right. So let's let's figure you out. Pile number two. This is my Akinzi Oracle. Who are you truly? Pile number two. recuperation so you bounce back you go through your hardships you get back in the saddle on the saddle you get back in your cup you fish this little fish here see that fish in, in the cup yeah you get back in the cup um you bounce back you're resilient so you might have hard times but you you get back right back up you climb the the, the mountain again even though you're freaking cold as f and even though you have no snow gear and you have no no reason to go up the mountain, but you know you have to get up there. You you do what you have to do. You're a badass bit. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, 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 yep. Nobody can mess with you. Not when you're ambitious and you're driven. Okay, pile number two. Who are you truly? Please help me connect. You have endurance. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you're resilient as F. Unstoppable force. Of nature um <laughs> that's funny you have this uh th you have the wands here the potato sack you got all this brown here brown so you know brown is stability brown is um structure solidity being very solid you can't you're not uh, uh, sh you're not unshakable you are i mean you're not shakable you are unshakable you're an unshakable foundation nobody can break you just like the solid king of wands and then you have anticipation so that to me is, I don't know, that just tells me you can be very patient, but you can also be like the little kid who can't wait to, to, to eat their favorite snack. You can't wait, you know, the page of cups. You can't wait to get your favorite goldfish from the pet store. It's like, ah, you know, um, you get excited as well. You have an excited soul, a youthful, excited, innocent, ready to burst soul. All right, so... Yeah, when, when people are on your good side, it's it's the best time of their life. When they're on your bad side, forget it. Run for the hills. That's it. You're not having it. You're not having it. Okay, who are you truly? Truly, pile number two. Pile number two. Who are you truly? Please help me. This is my lavender love dreams oracle for sale. Also, my Etsy shop down below. We have pencil, more wands. Very creative. Very creative expand your way of thinking see that's what i'm saying like you 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 break the mold it's like stop judging me you don't know me you don't know me from a can of paint you don't know me from a freaking scratch on the wall but yet you want to judge maybe that's how you feel maybe that's how you've been feeling rain boots focus preparation and hard work yeah you're very hard working you're very prepared and focused. That's how you were able to get to the King of Wands. That's it. You can't go any farther, further than the King of Wands. So, um, let's see what the Soul Purpose deck wants to say regarding your energy. Your Soul's Purpose, pile number two. Pile number two, what is your Soul's Purpose? 
Pile number two, let's talk about your spirituality, your soul's purpose. Builder. And this one wants to come out. Strength. Oh, I'm, I'm done. It's a wrap. Builder, look at that. That creative energy here. That king of wands. Oh my gosh, look at that king of wands. Look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Don't underestimate me, for I will see you down there, down the mountain. I'm going to be up here. I don't know about you. You're busy judging, thinking, trying to figure me out, trying to put me in a box, in a cookie cutter mold, whatever. I'm up here succeeding. Why are you down there? Come on, let's go together. <laughs> I'm leaving you in the dust. Um, builder, your innate ability to build and create brings you, brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. See? That accomplished king of wands. People underestimate your abilities. They um, underestimate your imagination, your creativity, your your um, thinking cap, your your drive. They think of you as a, like a little shy, naive, sweet wallflower. And you're like, wait, wait, what? Because of the way I look? Are you kidding me? Looks so deceiving, don't you know? Um, anyway, so then you have strength here. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. That is another what we're talking about. This fiery fiery fire sign they don't see this in you it's like it's kind of like you're wearing this big uh armor and underneath you is it are these bulging muscles <laughs> they, they see you as this weakling but then you take the armor off and they see these muscles and they see that you got coins and coins and coins coming out of every little pocket and they're like what oh my gosh this person made a life of themselves and who am I to judge? You know? So anyway, that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. Blessing this. You have a beautiful rest of your day. And thank you so much for your time. Please consider booking a reading with me. I have links down below. What up, friends? Hello. Thank you for choosing pile number three with this colored cool uh, stone here. I think it's like something you make a, a, bra a necklace with or a bracelet with. It has like little holes. You put your string in here. So, anyway, thank you for choosing this. Let me know why you did so in the comments below. You have a beautiful day. And also, if you would like pick a card readings, I have plenty. If you would like any of my decks, they are in my Etsy shop. All right. So, <clears throat> thank you for your support, for your awesome comments, for your energy exchange, for your thumbs ups, your great interaction, your great support, supporting each other in the comments. I really appreciate that community building aspect. So, thank you for the interaction and all that fun stuff. So, pile number three, pile number three, pile number three, pile number three, who are you truly? That's you, pile number three, who are you truly, pile number three, beautiful. I think you're multifaceted, I think you're adaptable, I think you're someone who, there's many, many face, face, facets, facets to you, there's many, many layers to you that people just don't see, and you choose to see I mean, you choose to portray or reveal what you think people would be okay with. What you p think people would be okay with digesting about you. So let's say you have a crazy, ramb rambunctious club scene life. I don't think you'll divulge that information until you get to know that person. Until you feel that they can handle that information. Because you don't feel like having judgments or you don't feel like explaining yourself. It's not up for debate. You just, this is who I am. But you only let people see certain parts of your layers you um adjust accordingly that's what i feel you are about but that's what this is telling me it's like okay i like to do tarot but i know that you will judge me so i will not tell you that i'll tell you something else that i think will be more in alignment with you i'm not being fake it's just that this is something that we can relate on, so let's just go from there. I'll leave that on the back burner. The tarot is for my tarot peeps, my sp spiritual tribe, my other fa friends, my other family members that can, can you know, understand me, and they won't judge me because they know who I am. For you, I'll just tell you this. It's not really surfacy because you are very passionate about this subject, but you're leaving something else on the back burner. And only will you feel comfortable over time. You will feel comfortable over time telling them if they are still in your life at that point. <laughs> there might be other things that they might not want to be your friends about along the way. Um, so if they're still there, that means they've they stuck, stuck it out. They've been in your life for a long time. All right, so let me go with the cards. My intuition wants to talk with the cards. Okay. Anamathy, who are you truly? Who are you truly? 
Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords. Pound number two, who are you truly? Pound number two, who are you truly? Pound number dos. Quien es usted? Who are you truly? Oh, snap. <clears throat> the higher fence. Let's see what came out because I'm curious. Bottom of the deck, page of swords. You know, that's interesting. That's interesting. You got the ace with the page, the two with the knight. Okay, one second. All right, so I'm going di to dissect these as well. So you also have, oh my gosh, interesting. So you, oh my gosh, okay, so you, pound number two, I, I feel like you like to, um, you like, you like to test people or you like to throw wenches, wren I'm sorry, wenches, <laughs> wrenches. You like to throw them things to see how they react, to see if they judge you, to see if they're worth being in your life, to see if they are going to fall from your apple tree and be a rotten apple that you can just toss away and not spend time on. In other words, you might say, hey, I like tarot. And then there's crickets. And then you know who to be friends with. You know who to leave behind. You know who to not F with. You know who to um, not mess with, not be friends with, not spend time on, etc. And then the people that engage with you, those are the ones you know are for keeps. They're meant to be in your life. So I feel like you you like to throw people off. I don't know how to. Ex uh, yeah, you like to people. You like to test people. You like to throw people off. You like to say, "Hey, I wear steel toe boot. I wear fishnet stockings for a living." And then you see, you you wait. You observe. You see people turning their asses around and they're going in the opposite direction. And then you see other people with question marks over their heads. And then you see people coming towards you. And you're like, mm-hmm. So you and you and you, yep, we're meant to be friends. And you, the question marks, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll see. We'll see. You want more information, don't you? Page of Swords, I'll give you that. You have questions, I have answers. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. You have no idea. I love doing this. This is like therapy for me. I'm telling you. And I love that I can capture it on camera. These, it's like the experiences I have with my cards, with my intuition. They are camera worthy. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, it cracks me up. They crack me up. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, that, yeah, that's pretty much you in a nutshell, but there is more. There's more. So, you got the Two of Swords and the, pa the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like you like to pierce through the BS. You like to, um, peer like you like to, if people have questions, you don't want to keep them puzzled. You want to go through it. You want to just pierce through the, the confusion and just tell them, tell them what they want to know. You just tell it like it is. You tell it like it is. Um, and you're like, okay, so you want to be my friend? You don't. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay, bye-bye. And then you're on to the next person who is worth your time. Um, so it's that, it's like you have different facets, like I said. It's like you, you are okay with just giving people a little bit of you, and then you are okay with giving people a lot of you to see who sticks and who doesn't. So, that, yeah, there's different, you know, like I said, different parts of you that is adaptable, and you, it depends on the energy, it depends on how you're feeling, and the mood is right. And if the mood is right, you yeah you 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 play the the mind games. Not in a negative way. It's more like let's just cut to the chase. I'm tired of beating around the bush. Let's just. Do you want to be my friend? Don't you? Do you want to date me? Don't you? But then you have other times when you're like I don't feel like explaining myself. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of what I want you to know. I don't feel like. I don't feel like dealing with the judgment. I don't feel like dealing with the eyeballs. You know, it depends on your mood. So anyway, you have um, the hierophant with the lovers. So I do feel that there's some kind of, it's like, I don't know, like it's, it's, okay, it's like, yeah, like, I'm going to go cliche, okay? I'm going to go cliche on you when it comes to the Hierophant. It's like you, you don't want to conform to society. You don't want to blend in like everybody else. You want to stand out. You want to be your crazy, un unique, authentic self. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like you see how this, you know, everybody is. But you want to be your own golden diamond, or I'm sorry, yeah, your rare. Sorry, you want to piece your, you want to be your own piece of diamonds right here. 
you want to shine like the rest, but you want to stand out. So it's kind of like you're finding a balance between conforming to society, but also being um, your own leader, your own uh, following your own path, doing things in an unorthodox way, not conforming. So it's like you're trying to find a balance between both worlds. You got the lovers, so you have a kind heart. You did you do things because you 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 want you. You treat people, okay, I'm getting golden, golden rule. You want to treat people how you want to be treated. That's what I'm getting here with the lovers. And the Hierophant. It's like you want to let people in, but you're afraid they might, you know, judge you. So then you're like, okay, well, I'll just, like I said, I'll give you a little bit. I'll conform the way you need me to, just so we can relate. But this is something that I am passionate about, but I won't tell you the whole deep part of me that you probably won't understand. Um... And then you got Page of Swords with the Knight of Swords. So you, you do find joy in helping people connect the dots about you. It's like they, get, they, they, come across, they come confused and you like to see them confused and then piece the puzzles about you. And it's like, ah, so you got it. You got me. You got me. You feel me. You feel me. All right. I'm glad you got me. I'm glad you, we had conversations. I'm glad you opened your mouth and asked me a question or two. I'm glad I got to ask you questions too because I'm the Page of Swords. I want to know. I want to know all about you. So you got more energy of the swords, more air. King and the page. Oh, wow. So you got pages twice. This is the in-between tarot, so we got a little bit of everything. So you got the Page of Swords with the Knight of Swords. You got the King of Swords with the Page of Swords. So yeah, you're very... Um, yeah, like, I'm just going to go with that. You just love thinking, uh, you like uh, throwing people off and letting them figure you out by asking you questions. Like, they might see you and they might think that you're just someone who's very closed off and uptight. But me meanwhile, you're like, okay, keep thinking that. That means you're not supposed to be in my life. You want to keep judging me? You want to keep thinking that? Go ahead. But then you wait around, you observe, you hear crickets, sometimes you don't, and then you wait for those people to approach you. And then have those stimulating conversations. Oh my gosh, this is really interesting. You have the wheel with justice. So this is like you, you being very, like you, you uh, have a way to win people over or you have a way to, um, like you know how to balance the energy around you. You know how to be lucky in friendships. Like you know how to get lucky in friendships. You know how to get lucky in your, your situation. If it's very awkward, you know how to balance it. You know how to change the energy, transmute it. Um, <clears throat> ten of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Again, more Swords energy. Ten with the Ace. So ten, yet yeah, you might have people who might, you know, backstab you a little bit, who might not understand you. But you, you, you just keep it rolling. You're like, okay, that was, you know, you fell off the apple tree, so that means I don't have to worry about you. I'll worry about these apples still on the tree. Um, they have, you know, beautiful, they're, they're, not ripened yet, so I'm going to work with them. They still want to be on the tree, so I'm going to put my energy there. But for everything else, the worms the worms can have you. Since you want to judge me, since you want to X, Y, and Z. Um, three of Cups, Four of Cups. Um, this is you. Yeah, you have a way with friends. Or you have a way of making friends. You have a way of transmuting the energy around you. So you could be very sociable, very good um, conversator, very good at you know holding your own, your own holding your own in, in a group setting, uh, bringing people together even through your cups with the um, through your cups with four cups, bringing people together. Um, uh, and then there are times where you're like, oh my gosh, these people they bore me. <laughs> so it's like you need to be constantly stimulated mentally. Um, the ten of cups with the ace of cups. So you, I feel like you have good foundation when it comes to family, home, finances, Ace of Cups. You're very passionate about your people, very passionate about whoever you become friends with. Once they're in your friendship circle, that's it. They're stuck with you. And then you got the Hermit and the Wheel. Interesting. You have a lot of duplicate cards here. You got the Wheel twice. You got, um, you got the, the Knights, um, the Page of Swords twice. You have the Ace of Cups twice. So, you have a lot of aces as well. So, you got pages. Yeah, you got... Oh, no, you got the... I'm sorry. You have ace of cups once, one time. So, um, the hermit with the wheel. So, you you do... It's like, it's like you have a balance. You, you like to be in social settings, but you also like your quiet time. Because you can't deal with people just judging you, or you can't deal with... Um, 
having to explain yourself all the time. So you just you're like, okay, I'm I'm done being sociable for like a month, and then you come out of your shell, you come out of your cocoon, you butterfly, or no, your chrysalis, you butterfly, and then you're out and you're socializing again, making friends again, making peace again with people, and then um yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So um, let's put that aside. If anything else gets duplicated, I will pluck them back out. So this is my Lavender Love Dreams for sale if you're interested. Let's see who you are truly. So I would say you're very adaptable. There's many layers of you. Sometimes you don't have patience to deal with people who um, don't want to take time to get to know you. And then other times you're like, please give me a chance. I'm tired of these people just judging me. Or I'm tired of having to explain myself. But just give me a chance. Get to know me first. It's kind of like it depends on your on your mood. On your energy. If you had dinner that day. Or I mean have had breakfast that day. <laughs> you have husband and wife. There are, like I said, there's two different facades or different layers to you. I'm getting Gemini energy. All these air. All this all this air. All these swords. So you could be a Gemini. Uh, you know, or you're just... Uh, you're really good at multitasking between your feminine and your masculine side or you just have different like I said different sides to you you have the belly dancer you might like to dance you might have good physique you might be very attractive strength body confidence and sensuality so you are very confident you're not trying you're not trying to be here to explain yourself to everybody not because you it's not be, yeah because you don't need to have them as friends you, you got enough friends but um, the people that you do feel like you want to win them into your so, 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 certain social circle you want to give them a chance to get to know you it's because you feel there's something there that you can you know turn it can turn into something really solid either a relationship or a friendship you know a loving relationship or a loving friendship you know it's like man I know there's something there but this person can't get over the judgment stage but you know what I'll work with them like I said those people with the question marks over their heads you're like you know what I'm not going to judge you because you're questioning me I'm going to work with you. I'm going to get. I'm going to be patient with you. I'm going to answer all your questions and not get frustrated because you keep asking me or you keep assuming these things. But I'm going to, you know, I really feel, feel like we can be friends once we get over this hiccup. Um, heart shaped cookie, uh, hunger for love and fulfillment. I do feel that you. It can be. It can be lonely sometimes. You have the hermit there. It can be a little lonely. You know, sometimes you might lose a lot of people more than you would like because they just don't get you. But then you're like, whatever. Keep moving on to the next. But, you know, it can be that, you know, uh, dating is very hard for you. Or being with people is very hard sometimes. Look, yin yang, I'm telling you. You got many layers to you. Surprises. There are different parts of you that no one understands. That they would probably really, really enjoy. But will they get to know that part? Will they? Will they get to know that part? Will they give you a chance? Okay. I can see Oracle. Pile number two. No, pile number three. This is my eye candy oracles for sale also. My Etsy shop link is below. What else is about you that people just don't see? Anticipation. You get excited easily. When the, you're like a kid in a candy store. Once they get to know you, you're like this fun, bubbly uh, person full of surprises. Just like a marsh, like a s'more. Full of surprises. And then you got the summer. So this just, you could just say that you, you work well in the summer months, or that maybe you, you are a, a summer sign. Uh, anyway, anyway be, you know, here in the East Coast, from June to uh, the middle, the beginning of September, or maybe you just feel like you function more, you, you feel more sociable in the summertime. So that's what I have for you. I'm blessing this with some awesome sounds. You have a lovely day. If you want something more personal, check out my Etsy, and all the decks that I use will be down, down there as well. Take care. Bye-bye.